Cassie and I have come out to Tanya Creek today to do a little bit of hiking around and try to find some cool shots. And I found a really cool one here with this cool old tree that almost looks like it got hit by lightning or something. Uh, super cool. Gonna throw the K1 on my tripod down, see what we can get. Cassie and I are still out at Tanyard and we're getting close to the spot that I want to try a landscape idea that I think is going to work awesome right now and may work even better in the fall. But we want to come out here because it just has been raining all day. And I think with the polarizer filter on, I'm going to get some really nice colors and a really cool looking photo, even though it's not quite in the fall foliage yet. Okay, so this is my landscape spot that I've been trying to get to. Really, really want to shoot this right now and also come back when the colors are better and see what I can get. I'm really interested to see how this is going to look in later fall when the colors are really crazy out here. I'm going to slap the 28 to 105 on now and a polarizer and see what I can get. And also go ahead and try some here with the 15 to 30 that you guys are looking through now. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to start with the 15 to 30 because I still have it on the camera already. And also, I think this close, it might be the best choice here. Let me go into live view and get stuff framed up here and see what we got. Oh good, 30 so far is looking like my favorite. I need to get closer if we're going to use this wide angle. Try not to slip and fall. Oh, this is interesting. I like it. Let's get this info off the screen here. We can compose a little better. That's not half bad. Uh, All right, so we need a lot of depth of field for this, so I'm going to crank it up to F11. I'm watching my histogram, see so we're clipping there. So this might be a good exposure to try. Yeah, let's stick with that. I don't want to clip out. And the K1's really good at recovering shadow detail. So I'm going to use the 12 second timer because the travel tripod I'm on shakes a lot after you hit the shutter release, so let's see how we go. F11.6 seconds. So... Clipping a little bit in the sky up there. Looking good and sharp. I'm not too concerned about that. That's pretty cool, actually. So let's switch to the 28 to 105 and throw the polarizer on and see what we get. So, sorry I didn't switch lenses on camera. There's some mist coming off of the waterfall as well as it's raining a little bit. And I wanted to do what I could to keep the water out of my camera, of course. Okay, so let's compose this. Focus right there in the middle of the photo. And then let's rotate this polarizer around and see what we find. Wow, look at the difference that makes. I 
get our info back. Same exposure as last time, 0.6 seconds, F11 at 100 ISO. And actually, let's let the Pintax help me out here a little. Turn on horizon correction. All right, that's looking pretty sweet. We'll try going this way. F11, sixth of a second, 100 ISO, 12 second timer for the floppy travel tripod. The polarizer on. Whoops, I accidentally did a pixel shift. So while I was editing these files, I couldn't decide which one I liked. I was sitting there flipping back and forth between them, and then it dawned on me I didn't have to choose. So I right-clicked those two files in Lightroom, hit Merge, merged them into a panorama, and now we've got the image that we have here. I'm kind of surprised it worked out because watching this footage back, I didn't realize I tilted my camera downwards before I panned it over to get the second shot. So I'm both lucky and happy that it worked in the end. So that just goes to show you, sometimes things you don't plan for in the field actually work out after the fact. Usually it's the other way around, but I got lucky this time. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I've got some really cool shots coming from my next trip out with the K1, and I can't wait to share those with you guys in the next video. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. See you later.